Hello and welcome to the NetData version 1.43 release notes. This release is the most robust and reliable NetData we have ever built. The main areas NetData has improved since the last release are Logs We presented an almost rewritten version of SystemD Journal to improve its performance and visualization capabilities. SystemD Journal holds critical systems and security information and given the lack of SystemD Journal visualization tools, we focused first on filling in this gap. You can see an in-depth walkthrough of the function that this plugin powers by clicking the video in the card above or checking out the link in the description. Virtual Machine Monitoring, specifically for VMware vSphere. With the increased feedback and requests on VMware vCenter server collectors, we have reviewed our out-of-the-box charts, added labels to the charts, for example host, data center, cluster, VM, and others, reviewed the metadata on alerts, and added a summary chart section. Instances Slice and Dice Given the capabilities of the new NetData Agent UI, we're changing the way some of our collectors collect and expose metrics to allow easier slicing and dicing of the data and be more open telemetry compatible in terms of specifications. So, in this release, we changed the way Apps Plugin exposes charts in the application section of the dashboard. Following the needle framework, each application group is now an instance, allowing better aggregation of processes utilization across nodes. Similarly, our systemd unit's charts have been updated to have an instance for each systemd unit. For the same reasons, disk charts now have additional labels, ID, model, and serial to help us identify disks from the charts. Stock alerts. A number of changes have been implemented to the NetData Health Engine to allow better integration with the new dashboard. More changes in this area are about to come as part of the next release, allow multi-node alerts on parents and allow evaluating and configuring alerts from the UI. Alerts Accuracy NetData has by default three tiers of metrics, each with a different resolution. The NetData Query Planner is automatically picking the right tier to satisfy a query based on the number of points requested in the response. For alerts, there was a side effect. Since alerts request only one point of data in the response, the query planner was picking the easier tier to query, which is of course the one with the lower resolution. Now alerts are always run on the highest resolution one, tier 0. Lower resources utilization. Several changes have been implemented for NetData to better take care of itself. That includes lower memory usage, lower disk footprint, self-vacuuming of SQLite databases, and more. Probably the most notable change is that now NetData needs only one pointer, 8 bytes in 64-bit and 4 bytes on 32-bit, for its use of a label name-value combination. This improves drastically NetData's memory requirements in setups like busy Kubernetes containers that containers come and go all the time, increasing the label's cardinality significantly. 32-bit NetData on 64-bit IoT machines a common request when NetData is installed on 64-bit IoT devices is to have a 32-bit NetData running there. Before this release, this was not possible. Now, a 32-bit NetData will nicely run on a 64-bit operating system. NetData Cloud On-Prem NetData Cloud is now available to be installed on-prem. Several companies have already deployed it and are currently testing it. If you want to join them, submit the form in the description down below. And these were our highlights, but there are way more at our full release notes, so make sure to take a look in the description to read more. Thanks for watching and make sure to stick around for more.